All right, one last part of Google Calendar that I wanted to put separately for you is called Google Tasks. So over here on the right side of your screen, you have a few options. Um, one is add-ons, which we're not going to talk about today. One is Tasks, and one is Google Keep. So this is great also because last week we learned about Google Keep, and if you click on this, you will be able to take notes and it will go directly to your Google Keep page and vice versa. So if you're putting anything in the Google Keep, you can also have it show up here. So just know that those two things integrate pretty nicely together. Um, but for right now, we're going to stick with tasks. So say there's something that you um, want to add as like a to-do list. That's what it used to be called and they changed it to tasks. You can click here and you can add a task. Okay, so I can also add more detail by edit details. Get all projects graded by Monday. And I can add a date and time. Set my time by 9 a.m. Okay. You can add subtasks underneath that, so kind of like an outline. Um, you can even give diff put it on different lists, but I'm just going to keep it on my tasks. And then I'm going to click the arrow back. And you don't see anything show up on the 9th. You see it over here, Monday, March 9th. But you don't see anything on the actual date on the calendar. That's because if I go down here, my tasks is not checkbox. So let me check that. And now you see that at 9 a.m., um, that's a task that I need to complete by that date. So again, your students have this capability. So if you have a student in your classroom who's constantly missing deadlines or who needs to have almost like an agenda, how we used to give students an agenda to write things down, this is a great place for them um, to keep that information. And if you need to send something home to mom or dad, one of my favorite things is when you go to your schedule, you can have everything there. And if they have deadline tasks, so March 9th, I have grade my Roaring Twenties projects, and it's all right there. So you can even print this paper out if you wanted to, get it signed by mom or dad so they know what's going on, or you can share the calendar with mom or dad so they can see what's going on. So it's just another little um, tool inside of Google, and again, it's over here on the tasks menu on your right. When you're done with a task, so when the 9th comes and I have all my projects completed, I can check this box and mark it as complete, and it will take it off of my task list. So that's Google Tasks. Hopefully um, you find some use for them in your classroom. Um, your students, again, can create their own task lists, lists for different things, um, or they can just go with the My Tasks that's in their calendar. Thanks!